Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today we're featuring Dimensional Barrel Home. Usually this is where I'd say let's check out the map, but we're starting our journey in Whiterun and heading to Dragon's Reach. We need to start by finding the table in Farangar's office, where the spell tome needed to teleport to the house can be found. Once you find it, take it, go to your inventory and read it. Go to your magic section and cast a spell, and select teleport to enter your new home. And here we are inside of our really fancy barrel. But wait, is that a dog? Why yes, yes it is, a dog on your roof. Now that we're off to this start, I'm sure we can expect some other eclectic touches. We'll go ahead and start by heading to our left where we have a barrel for staves. And as we open this first dresser, we find the nine shrines to the divines and a drawer for storage. This next drawer contains shrines to Nocturnal, Ariel, Mephala, Boethia, and Azura, and a chest and a drawer for storage. And then we get to our smithing area with a tanning rack, anvil, grindstone, workbench, and weapons plaque. As we round the corner, we find our arcane enchanter. There's a spell tome for barrel storage, although I haven't figured out how to use that yet. There's also an alchemy lab, two satchels, and you can see Mr. Tickles on the shelf. Mr. Tickles is a custom weapon that gives you a chance to paralyze the target for six seconds, although it doesn't do any actual damage itself. Next, we have a staff enchanter, that's always a nice offering to provide for the mages. And then we have something pretty interesting, a Dwemer trading terminal like a merchant. It sells a lot of soul gems, spell tomes, scrolls, enchanted robes, ingredients, and alcohol. He has 420,000 gold, so make sure that you install barter limit fix so you can sell over 32,000 gold without it glitching. Basically, this home could be a one-stop shop to get rid of some of your items that are over-encumbering you anyway, while also helping you level your speech. Moving right along, you have a weapons rack for five, a weapons plaque. That pod is a smelter, so that completes your smithing suite, and you also have a cooking pot and an oven so you can cook anything that you want. There are all 13 standing stones and an auto-sort chest, and then we get to our next item of interest. It's a fast travel portal. You just push the button next to the hold capital that you want to visit, and when you're ready, you walk into the magical flames, and then voila, it transports you there. I chose Morthal. Okay, now that we've seen that this works, we're going to teleport back, and now we're back in the home. Next, we're going to show off a unique crafting station called the Crafter Jack. What on Nern is that? Well, you put items in the hole that match specific recipes and pull the handle on the side and items show up on top. Here are the recipes you'll use to craft such items as quote-unquote some arrows, a soul tomato, a barrel, cheese, better cheese, and good stuff. Now that you know what can be crafted, I'll show you some of those items in my inventory. There's the cheese, goat cheese will. Good stuff restores 50 points of stamina and lets you get drunk for 30 seconds. Soul tomatoes act like soul gems. That arrow is the arrow that holds the great power of shooting people precisely in the knee. 300 damage. No wonder none of those guards are adventurers anymore. Next we have named storage for clothes, jewelry, shields, light armor, heavy armor, food, wine, an empty chest up top and an empty cabinet down low to store whatever you want. And then as we round the corner we have more named storage for potions, poisons, ingredients, soul gems, tech books, notes and journals, rare books, books, magic tomes, scrolls, and then down low there's something called cross-dimensional storage unit. I'm not sure what that does, but I feel like that's probably associated with that barrel storage spell. I just can't figure out how to use it. If you know how to use it, let me know in the comments. Next you have a drawer for weapons, name storage for materials, ingots, and ore. There's an auto loot button, miscellaneous clutter, three more drawers for whatever you want to store, and then you have a bag for coins, and then key storage inside that little box. And then as we head upstairs, to the right you have your bed, because of course it is your home, and then to the left you have an Atronach forge, two empty chests, 
and an area where you can store a sigil stone. And it doesn't come provided, I provided that one through add item menu. Now that we've seen all of the features of the home, it's time for final thoughts. Dimensional Barrel Home is a very compact home, but although it's small, it's mighty. It has all expected cooking and crafting stations along with a staff enchanter, a rich dwarf a merchant, a fast travel portal, an Atronach forge, all of the shrines and standing stones, tons of named storage, a special weapon, and don't forget about that crafter jack. After all, who wouldn't want a soul tomato and arrows guaranteed to hit the knee? This home could be a nice getaway from your spouse, kids, and followers. After all, you don't have to spend every moment with them. Anyway, I hope you like this one. This concludes our feature of Dimensional Rift Home. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.